Hi there crafty peeps, Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos and I'm on today with a project share for BB Craft. You will probably remember that a few weeks back they did ask me if I wanted to collaborate with them and I said yes, I would be happy to do so. So today I am on with my first project video. So you will see here that I have this little box and this is called the Global Land Gift Box and I am going to grab out the die and I will be right back, so hold on. The die set that I chose is by Global Land and it's called the Gift Box and it comes with a number of dies, but before I get into the dies, I'm gonna show you the sample product that I created. Here's the little gift box and I actually did use this die a couple of times previously for a swap and a gift that I gave to someone. And this particular one here, my sample, I am, uh, I just made up this three-dimensional, I think this is called the Diamond Rosette by KS Craft. And I am using some little gingerbread ornaments that I got from Timu. I've got some twine from my stash and the paper and the sentiment here come from a paper collection, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So this is the sample box, and let me give you the dimensions. So from across the top, it's just under two and a half. It is three and a half long. It is two and a half wide and about one and seven eighths tall. So it's a pretty decent sized box. Uh, let me open it up here and show you inside. So you have plenty of room inside. And what I've used these for is putting in some shred and some Hershey Kisses and then a little bit more shred. And it's it just makes the perfect little gift box for some sweet treats. But you could put all kinds of stuff in here. So this is my sample box. And here is the die set. It comes with several pieces. This piece here is the front and the back piece and you'll have to cut two pieces. This is the side piece. Here is the bottom piece the top piece and it also comes with this swirl edge die and this I didn't use I didn't use the rest of these dies here but these also come with it so anyway this you can use as an edge on a card or a mini album or the flap of an envelope but this actually is made to wrap around the box like this so you cut your paper out and you use it on the box like that it also comes with a number of floral pieces and leaves. So you get lots and lots in this set, all of these. And it also comes with a tag. So those are the pieces. These here I did not use, these I did use. Let me just put that aside. Like I said, I am going to be using uh, these little gingerbreads and I'm actually gonna make this project today for you and I hope it's quite helpful to you. I also made a little rosette. I think I just made this myself on my scoreboard. So that's just a little rosette. I'm going to be using some red twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. And here is the paper collection I'm using. This is a Craft Smart collection called Cute and Cozy Christmas. And it was a hot buy at Michael's and it looks like it's a 2019 paper pad. And basically what I'm doing today, this box and the one we're going to do together was um, just from some scraps from this pad of paper that I had left over from some other projects. So let me move this one aside and I'll just put my little baby craft over there. And what I did was I wanted a nice sturdy box, okay? So I cut my side, all of my pieces, I cut them in design paper as well as 110 pound cardstock. But really you don't need to do that. You could either use 110 and then cut layering pieces or you can actually just use design paper, but this paper is kind of thin. So I went ahead and actually cut the 110 and I'm going to be layering these up. So I am going to try to do a speed through for this. But let me just tell you up front what I'm going to do. I'm going to take each piece and glue them together and then I'm going to score them along their score lines and I'm going to get these all ready. So I'll be right back.
Okay, I have all of my layering done. I'm not going to layer up the bottom piece. That one's going to stay plain. And I am just going to fold at the score lines on all of my pieces. And you want to be kind of gentle with these pieces if you layer them the way I did because you want to make sure that paper doesn't separate. So just fold them gently just to break those fibers down a little bit. Okay. And you will notice that on my paper here, it broke the fibers to the point where you can actually see through it a little bit. You can actually ink the edges. That would actually give some more uh, character to your box, but I'm just going to leave mine alone. I don't mind it like it is. So let me just keep folding over on the score lines. Don't forget that I do have a coupon code, and let me see here, what is my coupon code? I don't even remember, but I will put it on the video here. My code is ENIS10, and that's 10% off your whole order with BB Craft, and the coupon is good until November 29, 2025, so it is a nice long coupon, which is really awesome. Okay, so I have all of my pieces folded on the fold lines. And I am going to start, let's see, these are my front and back. And I just want to point this out about the front and back. So here we have the lid. This is the front of the lid. This is the back. Matter of fact, while I have the lid here, I'm going to go ahead and glue that together. And you'll want to hold that just a little bit longer. You're going to want to hold that till that glue starts to set. Because you don't want your box popping apart. Okay, that's one side and the other. Okay, and just hold that till the glue sets. And I wanted to show you how to put this box together because the way these tabs are on the side and bottom pieces can be a little bit tricky. Okay, you just burnish that a tiny bit. Okay, so this is the bottom piece, and you'll notice the bottom piece only has one flap. The front and the back pieces have three flaps, and the side pieces only have one flap. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your front and back pieces and decide which one you want to be your back. So here's your bottom piece, and what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the side pieces, and we're going to attach it like that, and the reason for that is we need this flap so we can attach our box top, okay? Because if we if we did it this way, there'd be nothing to attach the top to, okay? So this is the way we've got to do it. So you've got the flap here and the flap there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm first going to attach my top to this piece here. So let me add my glue. Okay. And this is going to go right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. And once again, you're going to want to hold that until that sets a little bit. I like to burnish mine. Get that glue spread evenly around. Okay. So there's the lid and the back of the box. All right, oops. Got to hold that a little bit longer because it's starting to come apart. Just hold that. Okay. And while this is setting... I'm going to take the bottom and work on the side pieces. Okay, so the flap for the side pieces is going to go like this. Okay, and that way when we attach this piece, we're going to be able to tuck in that back flap. All right, so let me get some glue on here. And 
and I am going to do it this way. Once again, you're going to want to burnish that and get that glue to set up. Make sure that you're even on there and you do not want to go over the score line. You see the score line right there? You want to make sure you don't cover that score line. Okay. So that is one side. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other side and put it over here. There's our box. Super cute, right? Super cute. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I noticed that this one stripe has glitter on it, and I really like that. So let's decorate this box now. I'm going to take some Wink Estella, and I'm going to go over all the red lines. Just because I like it. <laughs> I, I really like Wink Estella. I never knew about it until I started a YouTube channel and started watching other people. Once I started seeing how cute the Wink Estella worked out on the projects, I was like, yeah, I got to have some of that. So I got right on Amazon and ordered some. And I just think it adds just the right amount of glitter and it doesn't flake off and get all over everything like real glitter does. But yet you still get some of that shimmer and shine. Really cute. Okay, you see how that adds to glitter on the top there? I'll finish doing the rest of this later. Okay, so there's my box. Super, super cute. And now we're going to decorate it up. So I have my rosette here. And my hot glue gun is on the ready. So I'm just going to add a little blob of hot glue and tuck that in right there. So cute. Let me see. I think I think I like this gingy with the peppermint on him. So I'm going to add some hot glue to the back of him. And just tuck him in place. And of course you can always do more embellishing around here, but I think this is cute just the way it is. Okay, and I already punched a little bitty hole in there. And you can use a grommet if you want to, but just I'm just gonna do this real quick so I will add a grommet later. And I'm just gonna take off a bunch of this twine and nip it off. I'm going to leave a nice tail here. Let's see. Do I want it going this way? Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to, going to wrap this around a few times. I think that's good. All right. I'm going to take my sentiment and just put the twine through there. 
super cute. And then I'm going to tie a little bow. <laughs> there you go. Global Lands gift box, Christmas style. Really, really cute. If you're interested in this box, I will have the link to it in the description box below, as well as the information if you would like to apply to get on the BB Craft design team. I believe you have to have 100 subscribers or more. Uh, I will put the link to apply for that as well in the description box. And that's it, I think. Don't forget about my coupon code, ENIS10, for 10% off your whole order. And that is valid until November 29, 2025. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Cute little box. Perfect for a small little gift for a friend. Perfect for your happy mail. Perfect little goodies to go in there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And come back and catch me again for my next BB Craft video. I think that one is going to be with the faux leather. And I have something that I've never tried before that I'm going to do and I hope that it works out well and you guys will get to see it happening. <laughs> so thanks a lot everyone for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye crafty peeps.